Hello everybody, in this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now, my portfolio is worth $100,280.25. In the past year, I am up $27,540.30. Year to date for the year 2024, I am currently up $9,000. $880.86. On Friday, I had a red day. I lost $877.35 on Friday. And after hours, I am down another $289.55. So overall, more than $1,000 in the red on Friday. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Google $180 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return, I am down $591. I'm selling Robinhood $18 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return, I am down $130. I'm selling Starbucks $80 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return, $768. I'm selling SoFi $8 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return, $666. I'm selling Amazon $210 covered calls. These expire July 26. My total return, I am down $474. I'm selling PayPal $65 covered calls. These expire July 26. My total return, $80. I'm selling Disney $110 covered calls. These expire August 2nd. My total return, $153. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $200.20. My average cost, $98.95. My total return, $30,373.46. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $6.45. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $4,960.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $97.50. My average cost, $60. My total return, $11,250. I have 1,000 shares of Robinhood. Robinhood is at $22.59. My average cost, $17.53. My total return, $5,065. I have 500 shares of Southwest Airlines. Southwest Airlines is at $27.03. My average cost, $28.03. My total return, I am down $500. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $190.92. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $4,844. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $59.69. My average cost, $57.70. My total return, $398. I have 200 shares of Starbucks. Starbucks is at $76.38. My average cost, $78.15. My total return, I am down $353.50. This is a margin account. My margin total is $115,000. 
$339.87. My margin used is $103,016.49, which leaves me with $12,343.38 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $47,000. $829.73. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.25%. The daily interest that I am paying is $17.71. And I am borrowing $1,000 interest free. So red day on Friday. Hopefully the next week and the weeks after that will be looking more green. But for now, it was a red day on Friday. Now. I had a pretty good weekend. I don't know about you guys. I went to an anime convention. I had some fun there. So um, regardless of how my portfolio is doing, at least I had a good time this weekend. Now, something to note here is that my portfolio did change in some way. And that is my Southwest Airlines position. Now, I do have shares of Southwest Airlines, 500 shares, but I was also selling covered calls on Southwest Airlines at the $28 strike price. Now, as you notice, Southwest Airlines is currently below $28. So it ended up below $28 per share on Friday, you know, and since it ended up below the strike price of my covered calls, I ended up keeping the shares and collecting the premium. But yeah, I still have my 500 shares of Southwest Airlines. I was expecting it to stay at or above 28 and then my shares get called away, but that did not happen. So as you can see here, for most of the week, it was staying above 28, 28, 23, 28, 57, 62. And then look what happened on July 5th. 6 a.m. was OK, but then Bam! Dropped all the way down to $27.13 around 10 a.m. on July 5th. So it went from above $28 per share to below $28 per share on July 5th, which was the expiration date. Because of that, I kept my shares of Southwest Airlines and I just collected my premium from the covered calls. So I did make some money from the covered calls, but I still have my shares. What I'm planning to do is do some more covered calls and then we'll see if they get called away. But it dropped out of nowhere. I was not expecting that, but anything can happen in the stock market. All right. Um, I'll have to decide what strike price I want to choose. Maybe I'll do another one at 28 again. We'll see. But that's something that changed. Everything else is the same. I did not change anything else. The next date that I'm waiting on. So right now is July 7th and there's four positions. I have four covered call positions that all expire on the 19th. So that is 12 days from now. Uh, so that's about a week and a half. We'll see what happens. For now, that's what I'm waiting on. It's going to be about two weeks. And then I'll decide what I want to do from there. But as it stands right now, if we look at, you know, if they're above or below the strike price, Google is above the $180 strike price. Hood is also above the $18 strike price. Starbucks is below the $80 strike price. And SoFi is below the $8 strike price. So two of them are above, two of them are below. We'll see what happens. The thing I want to talk about, though, is uh, Google. I might be rolling the, it out because Google is sort of something that I want to keep long term. And right now it's at 190 and I chose a strike price of 180. So it's ten dollars over right now. So I might choose to bring it up to 200, maybe the strike price from 180 to 200. We'll see. But uh, I am a little bit desperate to keep them. So I'm thinking about rolling these out. Hood, however, I'm willing to let that go. Like if the strike price is at $18 and then Hood ends up 
above $18, I'm comfortable letting them get called away and then losing my shares. That's fine with me. Um, Starbucks, I'm sort of on the fence about Starbucks. From what I've read, there's good news and bad news. I'll have to do more research on this, but I'm on the fence with Starbucks right now. SoFi is something I want to keep long term. That's something I've decided. So um, it's already below the strike price, so I don't really need to roll this out yet. We'll see what happens. Who knows? Maybe SoFi will suddenly just jump up to $9 per share or something. I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens. But for now, it's still below the $8 strike price. I don't need to roll these out. So if it does stay at the price it is right now, I'll keep my shares and then I'll just collect the premium, which is fine. So that's my position on my covered call positions that are expiring on the 19th and what I plan to do. All right, that's pretty much it for this update. I will be making more updates in the future. So if you guys like this type of content, you want to see more portfolio updates and me going over you know, going over my positions and what I think of them and what I'm planning to do, then uh, please like and subscribe and I'll keep on making more content like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.